for heat use. What you want to do is turn both of these handles so that they're in line with the pipes, perpendicular, so you can hear the water start to cycle through. And what you'll feel is you'll feel the line start to get really hot. This one's getting hot already. You also want to look and check for any leaks or anything, anything funky going on. One prob common problem with hydronic units, uh, not this particular setup, different setups will have a purge line where you hook up a hose to it, usually inside the air handler. You hook up a hose, run it to a bathtub, and you'll need to purge the air from the line by opening up what's called a gate valve. You'll undo the twisty, the, the twister to open the gate valve. Uh, one tip with gate valves, you don't really want to cinch them, cinch them open or cinch them closed. When you close a gate valve, you want to close it gently. When you open it, you don't want to open it really tight towards the end. You want to kind of leave it, especially on water heaters. That'll help prevent the gate portion from sticking inside the valve. One common problem with hydronic units that have a circulation pump at the hydronic unit especially units that are in the ceiling, is there's a little cylinder uh, pump motor and that pump motor often gets jammed. A little rock or something gets stuck and what you can do is just tap on that. If it gets stuck, go ahead and either tap on it, you know, either with your palm like so and tap on the valve itself or just lightly with either a rubber mallet or kind of the rubber back of a screwdriver and tap it. A lot of times you'll hear it just free up and whirr and then cycle through, cycle the hot water properly. Those are kind of a common problem with hydronic units, in addition to occasionally needing to be purged. My particular system is on a boiler system and a recirc pump, and I can purge air at the recirc pump, but mostly, usually not needed on my particular setup. But each setup's a little bit different, has its own little quirks. Usually around the beginning of the heating season, you'll get all your, your no heat calls either needing to know how to turn the valves on like this one or how to purge the air to keep the unit heating.